Hey guys, D Mike here for another episode of Super Mario Galaxy 2. Today is the wrap up of World 6. Hopefully, you're still enjoying yourselves. If you are enjoying yourselves, toss a thumbs up on the video. Hit me up with them juicy comments. Not too juicy, though. You know, I don't like that word. And subscribe if you have. It's for your health. I recommend it. It's part of a balanced breakfast. So, here we go. Gonna wrap up World 6 today. We're getting dangerously close to finishing this game. I think we are within five episodes? Four episodes? <gasps> Can you believe it, viewers? I wonder if the final episode will be episode 50. Wouldn't that be something? Knowing my luck, it won't. But that's okay. Let's just vibe for a second of this song. Okay, moving on. There is a game that I played briefly, and the only reason why I'm saying this is because this is what the music makes me think of. Excuse me, Luigi, don't care about you. I played it about a year ago, I think. Or longer, I don't know. I don't remember when I found it. I was watching a stream uh, of somebody, like a, a streamer, a streaker, who I followed pretty routinely. And they were just randomly switching games. It was just like a hodgepodge stream, miscellaneous, whatever you want to call it. And uh, <coughs> they were playing a game called Mini Motorways. I don't know if any of you have played that. It is, I believe, the, sequ the sequel to um, something about Subways or Jimmy John's. I don't remember what it was. All right. Time to get some wiener candy while we're at it I got a bit of a uh, bit of a trip ahead of us here but yeah this music kind of makes me think of that that game pretty exclusively features music that's kind of like a soundscape which isn't like I mean it is music this is kind of more like beeps and boops which I enjoy kind of relaxing chill sometimes you just need to chill out viewers don't try to take on too much. Okay, oops. Oh, that actually worked out better than I thought. Ooh, we are probably gonna die. I do not have any air. Doing really well right now. Things are getting a little crazy. All right, so you can hear the star. Let's go ahead and whoop. That's a sneaky one, look at that. This is one of the few that I did remember from my previous adventures. Trying to pull a fast one on me, Nintendo? I don't think so. Boop, got him. Easy peasy. Okay. So here we go. That's a galaxy complete. You're gonna see that a lot today. Roughly five times, I think. If my maths are correct. Let's go ahead and clean up the galaxy generator. I do love the... Just that... That graphic right there. Giant Bowser head. Very grumpy. So let's cool it down a little bit, alright? Things are getting a little crazy. We don't have time for that. And I don't really remember this one super well, but... If my memory serves me right, this one I believe was kind of hard to get to. So, we will be very careful. Watch ourselves. I feel like the stars of this world in particular haven't been horrible. Not too difficult to get to. I was recently informed by a viewer I apologize for not, like, writing these names down, but, you know, don't take that as a, as a slight. I appreciate all of you. Um, warning me. Oh, okay. Not about that. That's too bad. That is not what I was getting at. Warning me of the dangers of the end of this game, so can't wait for that. You'll get to see me do it and fail spectacularly. Recorded in front of a live studio audience of zero. So, yeah. This is one of my... <laughs> oh, I didn't know that would happen. This 
It's one of my least favorite uh, parts of this level is having to deal with these stupid hammer bros right away. That was always a thing when I played the earlier Mario games as a as a youth. Um, Mario 1 and then the Lost Levels. The true Mario 2 for you casuals. And, uh, oops, that's not how you're supposed to do that. And we are very dead. And the entire time that I've been playing this game, I've never done that. And lucky me, I get to do this garbage again. All right, this episode is... Okay. <laughs> it's really burning me up. Really testing my patiences here. That's okay. What's a little, uh... What's a little Mario without some adversity, huh? Oh my gosh. I almost actually ran into him in the process. I do love the sound that they make when you... When they throw their little hammers. Bah, bah, bah. I want to know, like, how do you get into doing voice work for, like, sound effects? Because you know that that's got to be, like, way less... That's got to be way less... Not, not thankful, but like, the opposite of a thankless, I mean, no, a thankless job. It's got to be more of a thankless job, but that's how words work, there we go. More of a thankless job than, uh... Can I just get out of this? Can you stop? Okay, I could have just done that. More of a thankless job than like, normal voice work, it's probably going to be like the intern stuff. Like, alright, get in there and give me a few hammer bros, blah, blah, you know? That's how that works, right? I have no idea how the world operates, but that's fine. Okay, so we're gonna grab- oh jeez. <laughs> oh jeez. We're gonna grab that checkpoint flag, because I am absolutely tired of doing this. As much as I love this game, I don't like repeating the same things. I hate repeating things. I hate repeating myself. Oops. Okay, everything is going according to plan. I never realized how much of a pet peeve that was until I got a little bit older. My, uh, my parents have never really been great listeners from the hearing slash listening side of things. And it has been a pain in the buns having conversations where you gotta repeat yourself all the time. My biggest pet peeve outside of having to repeat myself all the time is when I know that they've heard me and then I still have to say it. So what I like to do is just wait a moment and let their brains catch up. Because you know what? Us being younger, sharper, harder, better, faster, stronger, our brains operate in digital. Whereas sometimes our parents, their brains operate in analog. So we need to let them have a moment of grace to catch back up, to get their old noggins firing away. I mean, we'll all be old someday, right? Sounds like I said Sunday. We will all be old. I mean, somebody will be old on Sunday. It might not be you viewers, but it'll be someone. Oops. Oh, I almost made the same mistake that I always do. Not today. Not on this. Not, not on. Uh, okay. <laughs> Imagine falling into a power up. That could only happen to me. All right, I just want to get this done. I just need to, there we go. Let's just go a little quicker. That's the problem is that instead of just doing that, for some reason my like muscle memory and gut instinct is to ground pound, which is not what you're supposed to do. And that's a good way to die. All right, let's get the heck out of here. Yeah, you know what? Maybe I don't want to return to you safely. Don't tell me what to do. Wee! All right. So we are pretty far in this level right now. Um, uh, are there any other cloud suits? Oh, oops. I think I goofed. I'm probably gonna need this cloud suit to get. Oh, it's way over there. Oh, dang it. Ah, viewers. Viewers, what have I done? Well, you're getting more content, that's what you're getting. I did not pay attention to that. I could see it in the distance and I'm like, there's no way I'm getting that without Cloud Suit. 
Yeah, you got it. Wow. I did not think about that in the slightest. Well, this is wonderful. You're all, uh, hopefully you're strapped in and ready. Some of these episodes have been a little bit too short. I've been a little bit too epic. So how about we dial it back a few notches today and uh, show that we are human after all. You wouldn't want to be too good at a Mario game, would you? All right. Guys, it's fine. Don't think anything of it. Or think everything of it. Whatever you want to do. The world is your lava-infested volcano hellscape, okay? Do whatever you want. Don't let an epic gamer on the internet tell you what to do. You wouldn't want that. Although there are plenty of people who put way too much stock in the things they hear from people online, and that is not smart. It's kind of astounding to me sometimes when I think about that, is how this is a thing that's been going on for eons, people of influence, not influencers, I'm not referring to like social media, Instagram, you know, people like that. That's more of like a recent thing in that specific vein, which I think is equally as horrific, but um, being influenced by people of influence, celebrities, athletes, politicians, whoever. That's been going on for a long time, and it is astounding to me how successful of a method that is to convince people to do stuff, whether for better or for worse. There's a lot of unfortunate circumstances where people out there, corporations, and other nayer dwellers take advantage of the impressionable, especially young people and old people alike. They take advantage of them by tricking them, basically, into believing that certain things are good for them or, you know, the way that it should be, which is dangerous. Dangerous viewers. We have to learn to think for ourselves. Ooh, that was close. All right, now I do think that I need to... It's not this set. But the second set, there are the... This really annoys me. Is it this one? No, I think there's one more cloud suit. There it is. That's... You gotta at least have one of those clouds, I think. But anyway, back to my rant. Because you love those, don't you? Um, yeah, there's a lot of people out there that don't really mean well in uh, trying to manip manip manipulate people into doing what they want. Especially when it comes to a good or a service that they are... Trying to sling at ya. Oops. Alright, I think I should be able to make it with just the one. Nope. How about this way? Nope. Okay, great. We'll try that again. Oh, okay, great. <laughs> we will wait for the cloud suit to respawn. This is unfortunately harder than it looks. That is what she potentially mentioned. But anyway. Yeah, it's a little frustrating to think about how successful, like, marketing and advertising is in general as, like, an industry that relies really heavily on people that are identified as uh, people of status, symbols of importance, etc., all of those things. Now, I'm not saying that this always happens. I'm not saying that this is, like, there's not, like, people being evil in the world because of this. Oh, come on. I need to face it away. Hurry. All right, so this should be good. I think we need just the one cloud. I'm also gonna try not to, not to touch that checkpoint flag in case I mess this up. Yeah, it's like, it feels kind of predatory to me sometimes. That's kind of what I'm getting at is um, companies that prey on impressionable people. I need to watch out for this K-Mac. Oh boy, oh boy. This is horrible. Oh, it's way over there. Oh, I hate this. Oh, I hate everything about this. Can you quit? This, uh, this feels like I'm playing Fall Guys. I'm supposed to be able to reach it from here? Yeah, right. Oh, I did do it. Viewers, look at that. That was epic. You're welcome. But yeah, I guess... I don't know. I'm getting all up in my, all up in my feels right now with... People being predatory and... Taking advantage of people. I don't like that. 
not all influence is bad, but, you know, if you're being sold something, like, be mindful of why you're being sold that, what the goal is. I mean, at the end of the day, they want your money. That is how capitalism works. That's how those economies exist. But you have to wonder if you're not being fed some disingenuous garbage. Hopefully I'm not trying to be too woke with all of you, but, you know, that's just kind of the reality of the way that things are. Those companies will do whatever it takes to get your dollaroos. So, hey guys, we're back in uh, Melty Monster 2. Good chance to collect star bits. I could have just showed this one off eventually, but I wanted to grind on camera for you. I know you guys appreciate that. You're welcome. I am incredibly unapologetic for showing my, my moves to all of you on screen. So this is another chance to, I guess, grind a little bit, get yourself some star bits, because this star, if I remember correctly, is a, oof, a doozy. It's one of my favorite words, a doozy. basically saying that something is difficult in a word that makes it sound comical and pointless, so. You know me, viewers, always thinking about words and stuff and things and whatever. All right, so I think that this one is near the end by the, um, the whatever, the goal, oh boy. I'm not paying any attention, I'm still trying to get the star bits. The goal, um... Air, oh, there it is. It's over there. I think we have to just hit it over here, maybe. Oops, probably shouldn't have done that. I don't believe this one requires you to jump off the edge. If I had to guess, probably not. But you still do get the Melty Monster music, which is great. It's one of my favorite tracks in the game. That's one of the things I'm going to miss once this Let's Play is concluded, is the musics. I always try to feature some of that at the end of most episodes. I mean, actually, there's music at the end of every episode. I should say most of them. It's every day, all day. And you're welcome for that, viewers. But yeah, we already have a ton of star bits, so once again, if this is a situation like I'm going to be in, off-screen eventually, where you need a ton of star bits, this is your boy. Stuff in the one you're gonna want to use. You can gain up to two, or just miss. You can gain up to 200 after two tries. Pretty, uh, pretty slick. Makes me wish there was a way to automate this, but there is not. All right, so I just need to kind of whoop. Okay. That is fun. Huh. So I don't think jumping is relative to this one at all. This is probably more of a matter of just getting the angle right. I think that you could probably also sacrifice your boulder suit at some point too, if you feel like you're really on the struggle bus, which, you know, we may be headed to that destination very soon using that form of transportation. Okay, but hey, once again, 300 plus star bits just on this level alone. I'm saying that because I don't trust myself, so. You're like, well, you're not at 300 yet. I'm like, well, we'll get there. Don't worry. But once again, it is going to absolutely cripple me getting this star because I cannot resist these star bits. Like, ooh, man, I am tweaking over here. It is brutal. All right. But here we need to, we need to button it up. All right, viewers. All right, let's see. Is it here? Yes. Okay. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right. It wasn't really that bad. I felt good about that. Almost got 400 star bits out of it. Pretty amazing. We are halfway done today. 415. We need, we were needing the average 600 per episode to make it happen, but Actually, it was less than that. I just really did not do a good job early on of collecting stuff, so that's my fault. But you know. 
You live and you learn, viewers, and if you can't live and you can't learn, then you're uneducated and dead, so. It is what it is. This is another decent galaxy for collecting star bits, so we will try to get some. I feel like this being the third of three stars in this galaxy, it's going to be at the end, so. But, uh, yeah. We are getting very close to spooky season, which I'm very excited for. Favorite month of the year is October, and everything that is involved with it, it's wonderful, and if you don't like it, you're wrong. And that's just a fact. Tried to have somebody the other day tell me, now this obviously only really applies to certain parts of the US and A, so take this with a grain of salt, but for those of you who live in areas where this is a thing, Fall, autumn, whatever you want to call it, is uh, incredible. It's an incredible time of year. The weather is wonderful. It's like perfectly temperate in my area, at least. You can go outside with jeans and a hooded sweatshirt, also known as a hoodie for you kids these days. Very nice. And you can have yourself a nice bonfire. You can roast some marshmallows. You can have a nice cider drink. The normal or herd varieties, whatever you're into. Whatever whets your whistle. Coin for fun, okay. So, yeah, it's just, it's just a good time of year. It's right around the time of my birthday, so clearly that's obviously why it's the most important. So, viewers, if you're not celebrating my birthday, then what are you even doing, you know? What's the point of living if you're not celebrating my birthday? Alright, I don't know... Up close, those... Those spooky Goombas are... As advertised. We can hear star number two jingle jangling in the distance. We are going well past that today, though. We'll not be interacting with the previous state. One thing I will say, though, is that this area is slow and dumb. That's a fact. Okay. So if you remember, we need to go way over there and hit the button. We have to turn this place on its side. Boop. And see ya. Oh, it's not a button. It's more of a switch. A Nintendo switch, if you will. Ah, got him. So, we will continue to make our way around. Hopefully you all are enjoying um, Pikmin 2 that debuted recently. I was very excited to... Oops, I didn't know that I could do that. Okay, great. Hopefully you're all enjoying Pikmin 2. It's early, I know. But that's a really fun game. It's probably my favorite in the series. It introduces the purple Pikmin, if you've had a chance to watch that episode. Spoilers if not. And if it is spoilers for you, then you're doing content watching wrong. So, it should not be a spoiler. But it just comes on the heels of, uh... Okay, great. Comes on the heels of Pikmin 4. Which is just announced the other day in a Nintendo Direct. Very excited for it. Pikmin has been one of my favorite IPs since I was a little kid. All right, so I do believe that the final star is somewhere in here. I like these faces right there. It's kind of like an ancient Bow Wow. Yes, I will be playing Pikmin 4 someday. Not Sunday. Does not exist yet. But that Nintendo Direct was pretty great. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oops. You know, I tried. Oops. Yeah, one of the things that I noticed, and this might just be because everybody feels entitled to their opinion, and everybody is in, an, in a way. I feel like trying to stifle an opinion is a good way to, like, turn yourself into a, a bad dynamic. Free speech. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, man. I, I didn't watch the Direct in its live state because I don't care about things like that that much. I'm not going to do a reacts video. 
Also don't care about that. Maybe someday, but right now, the present D-Mike is like, mm -mm -mm, don't care. And man, I know that social media in certain uh, capacities is like anonymous or has like a level of anonymity to it. But and I don't know if this is just like people feel compelled to do this because it is on the internet and they're like, oh, well, you know, this is my chance to address how I feel about certain things, but I don't know how you feel about this, viewers, but you ever notice that people just kind of seem to be negative Nancys a lot? Nothing's ever really good enough for people. Does that ever bother you? Is that just me? I mean, I'm critical of stuff too, don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some Pollyanna who, which is a great song from the Mother series anyway. I'm not gonna pretend like I'm some Pollyanna who doesn't have gripes about certain things. You know, I do. It would be disingenuous to say that I don't. I'm not gonna lie and pretend that, oh boy. I am struggling with this. I'm not gonna pretend like I don't have opinions about things. Probably sometimes really dumb, poopy opinions. So, you know, I'm guilty of it as well. But I'm just, you know, watching this Nintendo thing and, or like the little recap that I saw. Excuse you. And man, the comments were, many of them were very negative. Very negative. And it just makes me think of how some people, you just can't please them. They just want to be what I like to refer to as a doomer. They get their gripes out on the internet because if they did it in real life, nobody would ever talk to them. They use the guise of anonymity to hide their poopy thoughts. Alright, so that's the... Oh, there's the... There's the original one, the OG, the plain lays star. We're here for that, uh, for that sour cream and onion star in the back. So I think we need to get on one of these. We need to hop on one of these bad boys. I don't know if it matters which one you take. I don't think it does, but we're gonna ignore that one. Whoa. Uh, okay, looks like we can just. Okay. Uh, all right. Let's speed this up. <laughs> I'm just coming out swinging with my views today, with my own un my own opinions. Oh man, this is all the way back here. Boo! Another attempt for more star bits, though. I guess this is yeah. This is really annoying. I wish there was another checkpoint flag. So far today, I've condemned influencing and uh, people having opinions. So there you go. This episode's a little spicy, huh? D Mike. Woke up today, choosing violence. You gotta do what you gotta do. And there are instances too, where I will say, oh come on, let me get past this. Oh, I was gonna get clipped by it. There are instances too where like, what I'm saying is on a, it's a spectrum, there is nuance to what I'm saying. There's nothing like set in stone with these opinions, which I feel like is kind of how you should be. Like having an opinion that you feel really strongly about is okay. But you should also be willing to consider other opinions if somebody has a discussion with you and makes a good point. You know, open up your mind. Don't be so set in your ways that you feel like the end-all be-all way that you think about something is the only way to think about something, because it's not. There's... Life is such a weird thing where there's a lot of, um... There's a lot of nuance to life. Life is a gradient. It's a spectrum. Nothing... If you want to think about it logically, nothing in life is really black and white. You might think that it is. Not even Pokemon black and white. Because there's a second one. So, just keep that in mind. Alright. We at least nabbed 100 star bits from this one. I thought that I was really on track to, to nail it, but I guess I wasn't even close. Yeah, I guess I just hate people take, being taken advantage of. And then, you know... If you're gonna poo-poo on something, maybe have, maybe also have something good to say. Unless you just like being miserable, I don't know. Maybe some people just like being miserable. Maybe that's the lesson we learned today. And here at DMike Industries, we recognize that some people just are the way that they are. Okay, so we are getting close to this. I don't know if I can just read it out. Oop, okay. Did not know that that was just gonna fall down like that. Oh no. Can I just get back on the... <laughs> okay. Oh, viewers. 
Oh, man. I think I'll meet you back at the top. Okay, viewers, we are at the top. We have made it. We're going to get ourselves a green star once the wheel decides to very slowly drop in. It's taking its sweet time. Oh, don't want to get crushed. That would be unfortunate. That would be too bad. So once again, we got to ride the wheel around. Ignore the, the regular star. We're here. Oh, no. We're here for the green one. Boom. Done. Easy peasy. First try, viewers. You know how it is. Ugh. Okay. Wasn't that fun? What a treat. We got a ton of star bits. Today's episode brought to you by tons of star bits. We are almost at the recommended amount per level, and we are still two stars away. This episode's gonna probably be a little bit longer with some editing, but that's okay. You guys deserve more of D Mike. I wouldn't want to deprive you of this wonderful content after all. It's another galaxy that should be advantageous to grab some strabits. We might get close to the 800 mark today. Mmm, viewers, think about that. Going above and beyond for you. I want you guys to always remember that. I also did not know that I could grab star bits in the opening crawl like that. Neat. Yeah, here at Demike Industries, we pride ourselves at always under-promising and over-performing. Which, if you think about it, that phrase, it's very corporate. You know, you always want to exceed the expectations of your customer, keeps them coming back, gets that sweet, sweet revenue stream. I mean, this episode's all just about business, but um, yeah, I mean, obviously you want to do good things for your your clientele. Put food on the table, pays the bills, develops good relationships. Developing relationships is very important. But, uh, yeah. You definitely want to do the right thing. But think about the opposite of that. So it's under promise and overperform. Imagine over promising and underperforming. That's going to get you in the doghouse. You don't want that. Is this. Is this Sturbitz? Well, it would help if I wasn't right on top of it. We'll steal some of those, though. I have a feeling that... I can already hear the star. It's jingle jangling this way. Where is it? Weep, weep. Okay. Cannot see it. Uh... Maybe this way? I mean, I can hear something. Viewers, do you hear it? Do you hear the jingle jangle? I cannot see it. <laughs> I have I am essentially just jumping bl oh no. <laughs> I'm jumping blindly here. Can we get it? Yes. Okay. Not too bad, not too bad. These last two stars are probably gonna be relatively quick, if I had to guess. And I do believe that the final star of the day is gonna look a little familiar to ya. See how many star bits we gathered on this one. 74. Okay, I grossly overestimated how many I had. So maybe we'll hit the 700 mark today. I think my initial math, which was based on probably a really horrible guesstimation, was that we'd need to get about 75 star bits per level to have the 9999. No, 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 no. Amount to unlock the final star of the game. Actually, I don't know if that unlocks the final star or if it unlocks the final two stars. But there was the final star, as you saw it. It's on top of another capsule. This star is going to be easy to get. It's just time consuming because they thought that this was fun. Where is that dumb Goomba? Get over here. So I'm going to try to breeze through this one as quickly as I can because I hate it. All right, where are them lava boys at? Get over here. Yeah, you don't wanna you don't wanna under underperform. You don't wanna 
do things too quickly, you know. Oh, come on. Oh, I landed right on top of that. I thought it was in there. Oh, you know, you know what? Get over here. I don't have time for this. I'm a baller on a budget. Yeah, this, this is definitely a, uh... This is definitely one of the more annoying stars. I think just the gimmick of this galaxy in general is annoying to me. That's probably what it is. Also, the amount of adversity that I faced in the previous one trying to ride the wheel. Mario take the wheel. Right, let's see if we can preserve a little bit of fireball. Just getting the green or the the blue one is probably good enough for me because the red ones aren't too bad. You can just slap their buns pretty easily. They just give it right up. Yeah, I thought that one actually I slapped him on the side, but I will take it. We might be able to net ourselves uh, maybe 50 star bits by the end of this one, maybe less. But for whatever reason, they thought that a uh, a Zelda style. Clear them all. Galaxy was fun. They were wrong. Imagine back to, or not imagine, think back to when this was a Daredevil galaxy and how also not fun that was. If this would have been the same way, hmm. I don't know if I would have been able to make it, viewers. Might have had a conniption. That's not a word you hear very much. It's an old people word, something that my parents say. You having a conniption right now? Oh boy. Don't. Nope. Stop. Boy, you having a conniption right now? That's not how my parents sound. My parents don't sound like hillbillies, but, you know, whatever. In this... fake... personification of my parents. I apologize if you're watching this, Mom and Dad. I know for a fact that you're not, so it's fine. I don't think they could handle how good this stuff is, to be honest. Their loss. Your gain, viewers. Think about it. Okay, I think we're almost done here. We still have to clear out these boys. Boop, see ya. We can at least ice skate into them. Imagine murdering somebody with an ice skate. I think that's probably happened. Well, there were those, those crazy ladies during the 80s. At least one of them was crazy who tried to, like kneecap the other one. Wait, is this not? Did I not? Wait. Is this not what this is? Oh wait, this is not the... This is not where I need to be yet. We have one more planet to do. My bad. We gotta kill these moles first. If you got moles, get them checked out by your doctor. You don't want to have cancer. Alright. Okay, we are very close to finishing this one. I am at wit's end. How many more planetoids are there? Jeez. All right, maybe I was wrong. Oh, we can't. Hold on. I have to wait for another cycle because this is a fun thing to do. Thanks, game. Ugh. You know, I tried to cheese it and I couldn't. Let's hit the dome here, get some good dome. Nope, the dome is gone. Here it is. I got a little uh, ahead of myself. Okay. <laughs> what is happening? All the, I love all the chomps. That might actually be the thumbnail. I love all the chomps like, hey, what's going on? What are you doing up here, Mario? That's quality. Quality episode, everybody. You are welcome. It's gonna be a long one, but I'm gonna probably cut out a bunch of it. So that is six stars for the day, a world complete. And that is a day. Thanks for watching everybody. If you enjoyed this episode, please toss a like under the video, comment if you're feeling it, and subscribe and hit the bell if you haven't. Thanks for watching everybody. I've been D-Mike, and I'll catch you guys next time for more Super Mario Galaxy 2. Bye.